Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create tables in Access, you will want to be able to relate the tables so that you will be able to access information from them through their shared or common fields by which they are joined. In Access, you create relationships between tables in the Relationships window. You can access this window by clicking the Relationships button that appears in the Relationships group, or the Show Hide group as it's called in 2007, on the Database Tools tab within the ribbon. Now in the Relationships window, you add the tables from your database that you want to relate to each other. Remember that the two tables must have shared fields in order to be joined together. To assist you in adding tables, the Show Table dialog box appears when you initially enter the Relationships window. You can select the names of the tables to add, and then simply click the Add button to add those tables to the Relationships window. When you're done, simply close the Show Table dialog box. You can access it again in the future by simply clicking the Show Table button that appears in the Relationships group on the Design tab in the Relationship Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Now once you have added the necessary tables to the Relationships window, you can then create joins between the common fields as needed. Now to relate two common table fields, simply click and drag the shared field from one table and drop it on top of the common field in the related table to establish a join between them based on the values in the common field. You can actually click and drag from either one of the fields onto the other. Make sure, however, that you do pay attention to which two fields you are joining. Note that you can join any two fields that have the same data type, so make sure you don't accidentally join two fields that you didn't mean to join. If you do this, you can delete the join between the tables as well. So here we have Customer ID, which we've related to the Customer ID field that appears in the orders. So who is the customer for which the order was placed? So we'll relate those by just dragging. Now when you create a join, the Edit Relationships window appears, and here you can see the join between the table, ID and customers, and customer ID and orders. Also, Access will assign the relationship one of many relationship types. There's the one-to-many relationship, in which one record from the parent table could have multiple related records in the child table, meaning for each customer there might be many orders. You could also have a one-to-one -one relationship in which every record in the parent table has only a single related entry in the child table. You also could have an indeterminate join, which usually is indicative of an error, and it's very rarely intentionally used. Most of the time, you're creating one-to-many joins. Access will determine the relationship type automatically when you create the join. So here, you can choose whether or not to enforce referential integrity, which we'll talk about in the next lesson. And then just click the Create button. Now in the Relationship window, primary key fields appear with a little key icon next to their name. Join fields will also share a little black join line or black join arrow between the common fields in the two tables. This indicates the join type that is shared by the related fields in this case a one-to-many relationship between customers and orders. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.